The following views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the official position of the participants. Sides of the debate have been assigned randomly in order to create conflict, comedy, awkwardness, and embarrassment. Any resemblance between their true feelings coinciding with the side of the debate that has been dealt to them is purely coincidental. When I see this come up, I'm 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 the controversial one in this uh, on this particular debate. Yeah, because you know it's like a, a generally accepted thing to find Talisa Soto in that scene to be a bad bad actress. Mm. I think that's what the majority of fans feel like. Dealing out a double O debate, yeah, a new series completely fought out by the mastermind haphazard stuff <laughs> for a new yeah. series Blame of me. our channels. I'm very curious to see uh, how these will go. We came up with a couple of topics. We already beforehand uh, assigned Wit's position in these particular arguments we're going to be taking. And uh, this is episode one, the premiere episode. And uh, let's just uh, dive right into this. I'm excited. There's always two sides to every argument. We're, we're going to choose a topic, a bond topic. We, we have randomly been dealt out to defend each opposing side. Whether we agree with it or not, we, we have to do our best to take this stance. Right. So like this, this one is uh, Talisa, Talisa Soto. Soto. Talisa okay. Soto as Lupe. And that per one particular scene... Reenact the scene for us, Drew. It's in License to Kill. It's the scene where um, uh, Q and Pam are in the in the hotel room, and she walks in and and she's all concerned of, of of James's well-being, and she goes like, "I love James so much." And then you know Pam's all pissed, and then you know uh, she walks off, and, and you, know, you can clearly see uh, Pam's not amused by this by this little. Uh, show she put up and you know it's famously pointed at for being terrible acting of the on Talisa's side miss kennedy i saw you at the casino with james we need to speak in private it's all right he's with me james is in danger sanchez is no fool he's checking up on him you know, if they find anything suspicious listen it's all right he's safely out of the country by now you don't understand last night he stayed with me That's Sanchez, Harris? See, si. Francis take him on a trip. They leave in an hour. You must help him. If anything happens to him, I don't know what I'll do. You know, I love James so much. Look, you must go before you're missed. In License to Kill, 1989. <laughs> um, one of your favorite movies. Yeah, yeah. I'd say probably my... I always used to claim I set my favorite Bond film. I'd say it's still close. Objectively, definitely not the best. But it's still... Up there for me, definitely. Before, before you even did the YouTube stuff, did this part, her, I love James so much, did that part ever stick out to you in any way? Um, it did, but I always found it funny because I always, um, well, we first have to take sides of what, what side of the argument we're going to be on. But I always found it to be funny because I thought it was kind of like a, a taunt to Pam. And so, like this is it, this is good because this is this, you're going to defend this this scene. Ah, oh, good. Okay, nice. There, you we know that there's been critics of this this scene, but you you yeah. legitimately think it, it was an okay moment. Yeah, I so, say okay for my opinion on this, and I at least I get to defend it, so that makes it even more genuine. 
I, I think, you know, first and foremost, let me let me put this out for she's definitely not, you know, Oscar winning actress. I'm not claiming she's like her, right. all, all that good, but I, but she's not like Denise Richards bad or um uh, what, what was her name like uh, Stacey Studd and uh, Tanya Roberts oh, Tanya you know those I really get annoyed with but with her especially that particular scene I don't perceive it as that terrible acting at all because it's like you know she's a woman she's seen Pam in the casino with, with Bond she's she has seen that you know she has you know an eye for Bond and you know and she, she's already been, been with him too so she comes in she she makes this sneaky comment to her to the I love James so much. Just and you, you see Pam after that clearly being annoyed. You know that's the script of the of the scene. She's like, I love James so much. She's, she, you know, she's mocking her for saying it. You know, because it's a taunt. No, I love James so much. Up, you must go before you're missed. Now don't worry, we'll think of something. I love James so much. I'll be damned if I'll help him. Look, don't judge him too harshly, my dear. Field operatives must often use every means at their disposal to achieve their objectives. Bullshit! It's not, it's not like uh, her genuinely being in love with, with Bond, I don't think. Uh, and it's clear because at the end, you know, when Pam gets him, she's like, eh, I'll just walk off with the president. You know, she doesn't care. Because she, she it's the way the scene is written. That's, that's how I feel about it. See, that's, that's interesting, like you say that. And like, you know, I think it's just, it, it's, a, it's a bad line reading by her. It's a bad line. And like, like you said, like she, she is not the, the best actress um, in that movie. She looks great. I mean, she's, she looks great in that movie, but she, she, she's, she, she's, she's not a very strong actress. And like that one moment when she says that, uh, I love James so much. I, I never got the impression that she's doing it as a taunt. To yeah. Pam, that she is legitimately uh, at the moment, like like you said, like at the end of the movie, like she goes after uh, goes after. The, she's such yeah. a like it, she 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 bounces from one guy to another in that yeah, movie but, but so the, much. Yeah, and so like she all of a sudden she has effect. She it's like she she clings on to the, the latest guy that that's in her sights. So now like you know Bond is in her sights and like. Love is nothing to her. It's almost like she, she she I don't think she knows what real love is. Exactly, but but that's that's kind of my point too. Why it's the way it's written and why it's not her genuinely being in love with Bond, but just her being, you know, the type well, of girl that she is. She's just she's just clinging from one guy to the next. But like that that to, to her that's love. <laughs> that's okay. love. So like she okay, so she she met Sanchez. She loves Sanchez at the moment. Yeah. Then she loves yeah. her her lover. Then she sees Bond. She loves him. She doesn't like love. Is like it's just words to her. It's it's it. it the, she doesn't really. She's so oblivious to other people's feelings other than herself. So like she's <laughs> she's easy to she she could easily say oh yeah I love James so much. It's meaningless really. But like you know Pam doesn't realize that. Okay, but how do you uh, perceive this the 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 line of Pam then? What she's clearly annoyed, like, like um, oh, I love James so. You know she's she's mocking her for saying that because she's pissed because she does she actually she's, care Jane for Bond in the right way, uh, and you know. I think it's that was her goal to you know just just you know walk I, in. She is concerned about Bond, but she she mocks Pam a little bit on the way in because she, she knows you know she has a thing for him. She she Pam gets upset about it, but I don't think Lupe had the, any intention of upsetting Pam. She's oh. just like an oblivious bubblehead kind of girl <laughs> who like yeah. you know she she just said that she doesn't have any awareness of what she's saying or like she's just thinking like oh i'm just going to tell james's executive secretary to like you know help him out uh and get uh, and make sure that he's okay i love him so much she doesn't know like that line just pissed off you know that the, this other woman i don't think like yeah. you she, so what you're saying is, yeah, I, I know because I've seen, uh, I remember a video you did where you were yeah, going I've, through I've, the quotes I've, that I've you mocked, found funny in the Bond yeah, series. I've and you were mocking her. You're like, oh, how could she be in love with, 
Yeah, that's, I think that's where we differ. I don't think she's in love with Bond. You know, she likes him. You know, she, she you know, it's she likes to seek the. Uh, she's clearly a type of chick that likes to fool around because you know she she has Sanchez, all the wealth in the world, and you know, most powerful men of, of South America, basically. And then you know she fools around with some other random guy in in the opening scene yeah, of the film. Yeah. So she's clearly. She she likes fooling around and you know cheating on you know to, for the for the excitement. But I don't think she she has any intention of seeing a future with Bond or you know uh, uh, being uh, romantically involved. She just you know she she likes him and she, she you know she is concerned because he's kind of human. But clearly she's not in love love like you know like oh I want to marry this. That's why I said, like, once he walks off with the president, you know, hey, Sanjas is dead. She's still, you know, she's a gold digger kind of kind of chick. She just walks off with the other powerful guy, you know. Yeah, That's she, how I perceive it. I, I view her as like, like a, a little teenage girl who has a crush yeah, yeah, and just says, I "Oh, I, I, I love him. He gave me his, his Letterman jacket. He gave me a pin. I love him." <laughs> and like, there's no, like, there's nothing mature about it or anything. And then, like, she's also, yeah, like you said, like, a little gold digger. But it's also because that line of Pam is in there, of her being annoyed by by the comments uh, that uh, Talisa made, or uh, Lupe. Um, you know, that that's how it was written in the screenplay. Like, you know, you, you know and you see the annoying, and, and also Q adds to the scene as well. Cause, you know, Pam is annoyed by the comment. You see Q go... You know, yeah, women. Right. You know, oh, like, yeah. like you know, it's like, oh, of course, this is what happened. And that that's why I, I always perceived that you know, regardless of how the delivery of that line would have been, of of Talisa's acting, you still would have had Pam being annoyed and Q going, eh, you know, because it, it was written as a ton to Pam. That that's how I perceived it. Maybe the delivery isn't that spot on, I mean, but like that, that it's, whole it's not scene. genuine. That's how that's. I think the the essential fundamental difference. You think it's a genuine comment of her being in love. I think it's just yeah. Know, cause she, she's like a, to, she's to, she's to a little, Pam. yeah. She's like a little bubblehead. She doesn't know like she's really uh, upsetting Pam or, or anything with that. And like you know, why would she want to upset Pam? Who uh, I think she's that, a, asking like you know you got to help James uh, James Bond. Uh, I'm, I, cause, he's cause, in cause danger. Because <laughs> yeah, not not all women are like this. I'm, I'm, but. Don't get me wrong, but it's like again the casino scene. There's the the part where you know from the Diamonds of Forever novel where she suddenly takes over the dealer position to you know to give Bond some information, and she, Pam is there right in front of her too, you know having the drinks and and stuff. She she you can see her eyeing Bond and Pam like oh they're they're you know she she likes Bond. She can she's a woman. She knows instinctively this chick likes Bond, and that's why I think when she walks in. Check out that casino scene. You, you'll see her. I mean, her I, I know I think that she knows. Man. She knows about Pam and Bond, and that's why she just you know she's like a she's like a in high school she she was one of these mean bitches. That's 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 the type of character she is. See, I I think like she's more of a bubblehead, honestly, yeah. just a bubblehead uh, headed chick. She knows a lot of people perceive her that way, but underneath there's a layer of her knowing what she's doing you know she she knows and she just likes to poke the bee's nest i think that's that's an argument to be made. Ah. with pam and with, with all the you know she she knows she has some power uh, in, in the man's world because she's, she's south america is like a man's world but she still likes to do that stuff and get away with with, with some of it but uh, yeah but like this, that whole scene actually like it, it, it's almost comedic from start to finish, because like she, uh, Lupe walks into the room, she bumps into Q, and like she says, "Oh, oh, uh, I got to talk to you about James," and like, she, "Oh, Q's okay, uh, he's with me," and she says, uh, "James spent the night with me," you know, and then Q does the the roll of the eyes, yeah, yeah, and like you know, she says like, "Oh, I love him so much," and then like you see Q, uh, Pam's reaction, like, what? And says, yeah. "Okay, yeah, go, go away, Lupe, go away." And then, like, you know, it ends on that little comedic beat of, like, you know, uh, "Oh, don't worry, the like, agent has to do anything to, like, you know, survive in the yeah, field." Yeah, yeah. Bullshit, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's it's almost like comedy from start to finish. So I don't think like there's any, there's no motivation for her to uh, Lupe to make Pam jealous. 
it doesn't like help her or James or any anything. She's just saying that like because he's the latest guy on my, on my list. He we spent the night together. <laughs> yeah, I love him. Yeah. The, yeah, but that, like that, that's exactly. I actually, we're kind of on the same line, which is uh, because that's kind of how I perceive her too. But the the one difference is, I just I really think she does do it to annoy Pam because you because it's also the way the scene is filmed when she delivers the line. You know, you see Pam, you see Pam's reaction. I remember watching this with a friend a couple of years ago when we were going through all the Bond films. And when she delivered the line, we were laughing not because of Talisa's acting, but because of Pam's reaction and Pam's and reaction. Yeah, because you know you, you see her, and and also I, I she just has to point out useless information she didn't have to point out, but just because they're you know rival girls, both after the same guy. Kind of, you know, Pam with a more genuine motivation and Talisa being her bitchy self. But but she has to mention, completely irrelevant, like, oh, well, but I slept with Bond last night and I love him so much. And then you see Pam, you see her, her flinch, like, she didn't notice. She didn't know Bond fooled around with her, too. She she thought she was the only one, you know, she was the secretary. Yeah, and and, and, then, Lupe, and that's that's her goal, I think, to, to get just to annoy her a little bit because that's part of her character. Yeah. See, like I, I figure, like she she mentions, you don't understand. James uh, st- stayed with me last night. She's not even thinking about what's coming out of her mouth. She's like just saying, <laughs> "Oh yeah, this is this is what I this is where he is." Oh, did that upset you? So sorry about that. Like she's not thinking about like, boy, this is going to really grind this girl's gears once I tell her this. She's the jealousy meter is going to go all off the scale. I, I think I, that's exactly what I think she does. Yeah, I think that's where where we uh, uh, differ on this. Yeah, I think maybe we'll have to rewatch this. But that that as as much times as I've watched this, I think I've hmm. even defended this little bit in my um, my original recapping episode of uh, of that particular scene. Uh, huh. But you know it, that's that's the thing of movie. Uh, we'll have to ask John Glenn or who, who did the screenplay to this, like uh, who did Richard Maybaum, maybe. We'll have to ask them. <laughs> or maybe Talisa, like what uh, her, yeah. her motivation was on what she remembers yes. from this, like uh, thirty-one years ago. Interesting. Well, it's a very different pr- perspective on it. Well, we could both agree, like you know, she's she's not the strongest acting. Bond no, I, I would never claim, you know, she's uh, like uh, <laughs> Diana Rigg or uh, you know uh, Eva Green, but this that that line, I love James so much. I think, that, like I stated before, it's it was written for for taunting to Pam. That's that's what I think. I I, I disagree, but you you bring up some interesting uh, arguments about it. Did you ever see her in any other movies, Talisa Soda? Uh, I rem- I think that was uh, what was it the uh, Princess Katana in like uh, Mo- Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat Mortal Kombat yeah yeah I, I there's also some movie I've seen her in more stuff but yeah. uh, not not too much but uh, so you're you're getting to uh, you're getting to the part if I find her a good actress in other movies probably well I mean I I was just curious because like I, I know she was in Vampirella <laughs> okay <laughs> like some I haven't project. seen that. I gotta watch that one day because I, I I know it's it's a crap movie and uh she 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 dresses up like the comic character and like you know I'm sure she looks great and everything, but I I wanted to just see her performance. I remember seeing her in Mortal Kombat and I don't remember a thing about her performance. No, me neither. Back to License to Kill, yeah. and slightly off topic of the I love James so much scene. Is there any other particular moments in the film where where you've found Talisa Soto to be just uh, exhaustingly bad actress or, or well I mean like a lot of that scene there she she delivers a lot of lines very flat when like you know uh, she she talks to Crest and Crest is kind of making moves on her he says stop peeping through my window like it's very <laughs> flat it's yeah, very okay. flat yeah um, there's some good points yeah that now that you mentioned that line yeah I mean, like she's not the she, bad, best actress, but I, I don't no. know. I just give her a lot more leeway than you know, like like the classically bad ones. Like I said before, like Denise Richards comes up always. Yeah, yeah. I, like I, I would have a hard time defending that one, like, but Elisa, I can. Yeah, I, I. Maybe because she's like not really the main Bond girl. Maybe that, that and, and maybe, maybe like the, know, her little... looks make up a lot for it too. I mean, eh, I'm easy going on that stuff too, but. 
Yeah, when every time I watch it and that that scene comes up, I I do a little cringe. But yeah, yeah, I have that with a lot of other stuff in the franchise, but not that scene. But it's funny though, how that's different. I mean, she, <laughs> we, we, you have to agree. Like she looks great in her red dress in the casino. Oh, okay. hey, no yeah. argument for me there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching my video. Do you like my work and would you like to help this channel grow? Well, consider becoming part of the exclusive DBF community and help support my channel. What is the DBF community? Well, it's the community over at my Patreon page made for the biggest fans of my channel. Why did I create this community? Well, you see, every average project you see on here takes me roughly 30 to 40 hours to produce and upon uploading it, all revenue is pretty much taken away immediately by MGM or other film studios, unfairly as it goes against the fair use policies. So that's why I'm always looking for support and set up this community on Patreon for the biggest diehard fans of my work. I am a believer that those who support me should be rewarded with a ton of perks like getting two weeks early access to all my latest videos, receiving a personal thank you video from me. I will also send you my custom made Blu-ray covers that you can print out and put in empty Blu-ray boxes and you get exclusive access to the supporters discord server where you can chat with me and fellow Bond fans whenever you like. And everybody that supports me also builds towards new goals for the channel's future. All these perks come for a little $3 a month. All support is appreciated immensely. Thanks a lot guys.